January is upon us. Can we bring in the signings to be able to get us to the level we need to be? Let's go find out. There has been three fixtures since the last time we met, the first of which was this one. A 3-0 away win against Manchester City. Absolute smash and grab. Look at the match stats. We had five shots on target. So did they. We completely nullified them whilst taking our chances. Alexi, Damian and Holland with the goals. Fantastic stuff. We also managed to get two wins on the bounce, this time away from home against newly promoted Everton. Holland with the brace. Good stuff. Uh, it did look like we we're going to draw, but five minutes to go, he got the second goal. Six points out of six. I would take that all day. And then, unfortunately, we got beat by Arsenal at home. I mean, Gury, Rainier with the goals for them. They missed a penalty as well in the 47th minute. Um, just a disappointing one, really. Uh, it was a pretty even game going by the match stats, but yeah, Arsenal are just a bit too good for us. So that takes us to the transfer window. We do have one signing joining the club already, and he's a little bit of a beast. We've got £15 million to spend, 140 k available in the wages as well. Um, there is a couple of positions I would like to improve, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes during the window. And this is the man who has joined the club. Eight hundred. And £75,000 welcome Juan Carlos Rossell, a Peruvian international centre-back, model citizen personality. He is just a dream. Absolutely fantastic. He's going to be our starting centre-half alongside Dvorak. Um, he's just unbelievable. And the fact he was at 875 k I mean, he's just a bit special, isn't he? So we will welcome him to the club. We'll ask Luke Daly to perform his duties. We will have to sell a foreign player now because they will no longer be able to be registered. Rogerio Santos, I think, is going to be the man who makes where he will be transfer listed. Um, see if we can get a decent bit of fee from up. He had £7 million from whilst in the championship. He's worth 13 So um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But we'll register Juan Carlos Rossell and we'll see him shortly. No other signings to speak of as of yet, and I don't think any of our major players are currently wanted by anybody. There's Mayard winning their Young Player of the Month. He's just he's developing beautifully as well, by the way. Worth £55 million now. We're we'll signing him on a free. <laughs> a little bit silly. Um, but yeah, we've got Burnley to come next. That is the first game of the January period. Norwich, Spurs, Barnsley, Everton and Fulham are the player through in this episode. Uh, in terms of positions I want then, right back has been a little bit of a sore spot. Although Stankovic is doing really, really well playing. He's averaging over, over a seven. He's got six assists to his name as well. Um, but still, if I can sign somebody who's really, really good, I will definitely take a goalkeeper. Absolutely fine. Centre half now, fine. Left back, absolutely fine. Defensive midfielder, not interested. Central midfielder, potentially. Um <sighs> Say the the difficulty is because of the foreign player limit. Um, I'm probably going to have to leave central midfielder as well. Lewis O'Brien's our backup. I wouldn't like to be selling him if we sign somebody else. If there is a fantastic central midfielder pops up, I'll go for him, and I will just have to sell one of my other foreign players. But at least for now, central midfielder is probably fine as well. Attack and midfielder. It's an interesting spot to be in because while Stanko is a very very good player, we could definitely get better maybe. Um, he's averaging over a seven, not really contributing to the goals and assists this season. Um, if we could sign someone who is a step above, we will have to make that purchase. Right midfield, it's an issue spot. I might be interested in selling Terence Platt this window. I don't like him. I mean, just look at his average rating: six point six seven in eleven Premier League games. He's not very, he's not performing, um, which is disappointing because looking at his attributes, he should be quite good, but his mentals are lagging. So maybe that's the reason why. So right midfielder, definite option for us. Left midfielder, I'm actually being relatively uh, pleasantly surprised with the goals uh, contribution from Heffern and Holland. He's at, his average rating wise isn't great, but um, he's English. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a bit reluctant to try and replace him. And then striker, we're absolutely fine. As long as uh, Damien stays fit, we've got Alexi as backup. I'm, I'm happy with that. So right midfielder, right back, potentially a central midfielder, potentially an attacking midfielder. But as I mentioned, Burnley's our first game, so if nothing happens between now and then, I'll see you at the results screen. Huddersfield Town Board have been extra nice, and they've provided with me with some extra funds. So now we've got £32 million to spend during this window. Happy. 
So after a couple of times of uh, offering out, we have received four offers of £13 million. pounds. We're only accepting Sheffield United and Burnley's. Villa and Brentford can go away with their wage contributions. So hopefully, um, Roger, uh, what's his name? Santos. Rogerio Santos will leave the club and um, join one of them too. So we've just played Championship Burnley, which was a pretty much a full strength side from ourselves. And um, we drew 0-0. Now, Burnley aren't a bad side. They're currently sitting top of the Championship, but even away from home, we should be beating them. So this is potentially our new right back. Now, I've had him scouted before, um, and my scouts don't rate him that highly. Uh, but to me, he looks like he's someone who could be really, really effective in our kind of system. He's very attacking. Um, Stankovic is a much more defensive option. Um, if we compare the attributes wise, you see it's ugh, it's difficult. It's difficult because if you look at this, it does look like um, Stankovic is a clearly better player. <laughs> If you look at the uh, polygon, but if you look attribute wise, it looks like Alt Air Fume is better. I mean, technically, he's definitely got the advantage. Mentally, in some specific areas, he does as well. Physically, he's got the pierce. Ugh, difficult one. We'll get him for, I think it's 12 million. We'll be paying only 2 million pounds, uh, no, 4 million pounds, but up front, 8 million pounds over three years. I think it's going to be a sign and I make and then I will sell my backup right back, I think. And there is our new right back, Alter Fiume, coming in to compete at that right back spot with Stankovic. Which does mean that now Negro is probably going to leave the club. Uh, we've got strict limits on the amount of foreign players we can have. So every foreign player we sign, we're going to have to get rid of one to be able to register them in the squad. Um, so we will do our bits and bobs, get him his squad number and assigned into the squad. And let's move on. I think I've got Norwich next. There's Alexi picking up an injury for four to five weeks. I was persistent with him on the right-hand side. It probably means we now need to sign a right-hand side of player. We've of course, still got Terence Platt. Um, actually, no, we don't. We don't need to sign one. I would like to. It all just depends on who is available and who I can find. Ugh. We've just slumped to defeat at home against Norwich. They were 6th, we were 7th. And a 91st win minute winner by Matthias Cunha gets the win for Norwich. Disappointing. Massively disappointing. And he is the first major out of the transfer window. But Jerry Santos leaving the club for £13 million. He's going to join Sheffield United in the Championship. Good luck to him. We need the money coming in. Um, as I do have... A bit of a signing that might end up coming in for a rather large sum of money. And I think this is going to be our new attacker midfielder, Fabio Luis. Um, they're not playing ball on price, so I am going to have to pay his minimum fee release clause, which is £24 million. And I think, I'm, I think I'm willing to do it. I think it's time we brought in somebody like him. And there we have it. Fabio Luis, £24 million. I believe that's the most we've spent with any club on a single player. I'm hoping he's going to be special. He's going to be taking Samuel Stanko's place in the first 11. He's, me scouts like him. Me coaches like him. Um, we are going to have to sacrifice one of our foreign players to get him into the squad. But I'm hoping this lad can really, really be something special. Um, <laughs> all these signings. All these signings. And we've just been beat by Burnley in the FA Cup third round replay with a full strength squad. Um, yeah, our transfer funds are pretty depleted right now. Uh, we're currently, well, 17 million. We can find a right winger for that, can't we? Finally, we're back to winning ways against Barnsley away from home. Damien Mielard with the goal in the 84th minute, getting us the win. Thank goodness for that. So, I was sort of holding this boy, hoping the big clubs wouldn't come into him. A Northern Irish international, 19 years old, plays for Gothenburg in Sweden. He's another centre-back, but at £2.6 million, it's too good of a deal to turn down. We're going to start negotiations. I'm not going to give him massive money compared to what he actually wants. Um, I'm just going to give him what he asks for, basically. Uh, we'll remove that, try and reduce the yearly wage rise. Absolutely not. And 25k per week. If he goes to Man City, he goes to Man City. But 2.6 million 
It's a little bit stupid for a boy like that. Another late goal crushes my hopes and dreams. Harry Winks with an 86th minute winner away from home against Spurs. So we back up goalkeeper Gunnarsson has been kicking up a fuss about not getting game time. So he's handed in a transfer request and there's a nine and a half million pound offer sitting here. I'm going to reject it. Um, whilst I wouldn't mind selling him for nine and a half, I don't think that paying that amount of his wages is a reasonable amount of um, a reasonable amount of money that uh, thereafter. I'll accept 10. That's fine by me. So he's accepting... Um, that I will accept a £10 million offer if it is to come in. I'm not going to offer him out. I don't want him to leave. I would rather have Gunnarsson for the rest of this season. He's a very competent backup. I'd rather not have to go and find a new goalkeeper at this stage. But um, we'll wait and see how that transpires over the next week or so. We've got Everton next. I'm not sure if that is the final game of the January period or not. I'm assuming there's one. There is. There's a Fulham game as well. So two games to go. Please, let's get two wins. Please. Ah, well, there we go. We are definitely strengthening our defence um, in this transfer window. Aaron Nixon has rejected Manchester City and he has agreed to join us for £2.6 million. Uh, thankfully, he's Northern Irish. Um, he does qualify as an under-21 player who we do not need to register. So he can play any game whatsoever and got ourselves another wonder kid for two and a half million quid. Can't complain with that, can you? Does leave our squad massively, <laughs> massive. <laughs> Probably is going to have to try to move on Ali uh, in this transfer window. It's only worth 750k. Um, I'd rather loan him out if we could. Uh, if anyone would be interested in that. Mark Pages as well. I'm already trying to loan out. He is wanted by a few clubs. But they're all only offering squad player status. Which isn't ideal for me. Um, I would rather he got a first team spot. And Negrao is only attracting bids of like a million quid. So I'm going to wait for the last day of the transfer window to offer him back out. We get our first win, hopefully of two in a row. Heffern and Holland with two goals, giving us the win at home against Everton. They were in the relegation zone, they're really struggling. So it was an expected win, but um, expectations aren't exactly matching at the minute. Away from home against Fulham next. That's probably going to be the final bit of business we have to conclude during this episode. I don't imagine there's going to be much in terms of uh, actual sales hap uh, not sales there will probably be sales but in terms of incomings i can't find a right winger who i'm happy with so i'm just gonna have to stick with terence platt and Vrabek for the rest of the season two wins out of two we got what we were asking for we were two nil down in this game going into the second half yang el herrera and ollie fraser put them in front 47 minutes heaven and holland Vrabek, angel dulce we had a we had a fight for that we had to earn it and the boys have definitely done me proud there well done that so this is how the Premier League table will stand at the end of today's episode. We sit 7th in the league, currently on 43 points now. 7 wins away. That's how far we are away from Barnsley. Um, I think Birmingham's a bit, bit, I think they're a bit out of there. They were on 75 points, so Barnsley are the target. 64 points, next 13 games, we need 21. It's possible, it's definitely possible. We just need to keep our form going. But I do have the rest of the transfer window still to finish in today's episode. No incomings. I'm not going for anybody. It's all going to be outgoings. First out, Mark Pages has gone to join New York on loan for the rest of their season. So is that in December? I think that ends. So uh, good luck to him. Hopefully he can get some much needed game time and continue to improve. Um, he's a decent little defender at 19 years old, but uh, he's not getting any game time with me. So it's tucked to 2.8 million for Gonzalo Negro. It's almost, I almost just want to chuck it in the face and say no, but I am going to accept. I want to get him out of the club. There's no way he'll be playing again for us for the rest of this season. So um, get his wages off the bill. Make me feel a little bit happier. But I think that's probably going to be the final sale or loan or anything that happens during this window. Um, we have offered another couple of youngsters out on loan, but that's not too important. So I think we're going to wrap up today's episode there. In terms of when we return then, I have no idea. It'll be somewhere in here. Maybe West Ham Wolves. Two winnable games now. Nah, that's a bit too early. Maybe Chelsea Newcastle. Something like that. One more episode before the end of the season. Um, and I hope to see you there. But if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you fancy doing it, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.